Hello, my lovely people. This is Schnei, and today we are going to draw a very, very cute fan art of Skip to Loafer or Skip and Loafer, depending on which title you like. But we are drawing Shimakun and Mitsumi chan. Just a heads up, I freaking love this story. I will probably pick up the manga and just read ahead because the dynamic of the relationship is just so wonderful. Both of them are amazing characters, the whole cast is so adorable and I couldn't help but feel giddy but also sometimes sad and nostalgic whenever I watch the show. So as a tribute to all these little cute moments that I've been able to encounter due to this lovely show. We're going to draw both of them. And without further ado, let's get started. We're starting off a bit differently today. I more or less tried to do the line out first. Uh, sometimes I had to redo something and did lose a sketch layer, but I tried to make it a very relaxed process and just chill. I think the poses and the close-up shots are some of my strengths. I'm not that good if I have to draw the whole body, so just focusing on the face has been like... I think that I've been practicing a lot in the last two years, so I guess that's the thing that I'm also most comfortable with. But by now you probably know the gist. I will do the line layer, I will duplicate the layer, set it to multiply and blur the second layer that I just duplicated with the Gaussian Blur tool until I'm satisfied with the look of it. So this is my stylized line art portion. And then I just go straight into blocking in the very basic colors that I want to use. Painting the background was very easy. I just used some custom brushes for the leaves and just some gradient tools, color in some nice skies. And then I just went ahead and started with adding the blush, which I really, really love. I think it really makes the whole pieces more alive if my characters are very blushy. So I guess that's a bit of an art trade for me. And then, as always, have fun with the lighting scenario. I really, really like using the multiply tool and just erase the spots that have the most light shown on it. Another thing that I use afterwards is like an overlay tool where I try to do mid-tones between the shadow and the light colors. I like to use overlay or soft light depending on how vibrant the color should be. I try to take a very saturated color, such as orange or yellow, and just fill in the spots between the shadow and the light colors. And that's basically it. It was a very fun piece. I love, 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 love drawing them. I love the show. I can only recommend it if you've never watched it. And I probably post another longer video with a voiceover soon. So look forward to it. And please subscribe to the channel because it would be nice. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for today. Thank you so much. Have a nice day and we'll see each other in the next video. Bye bye.